Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about a very simple, easy to do technique, but it is a very, very essential, must needed technique for doing complicated root canal treatments. Have you ever come across, there will be two root canals which are very closely present to each other and whenever you intend to do cleaning and shaping for one of the canal, the file, especially the rotary file, will automatically go inside the other canal. How many ever time that you intend to prepare one of the canal, the file will automatically go inside the other canal and you will be frustrated. There is an easy technique to overcome such complicated situations and a essential technique to handle such situation is called the TCA technique which is also called as the tactile controlled activation technique. So let me explain how this technique is done and how it is going to be really helpful in our clinical practice. Let's look at a mandibular incisor. We all know that in many, many situations, maybe around 40 percentage of the situations, mandibular incisors will have two root canals the labial and the lingual. The labial one will be the easy one to locate, negotiate and do cleaning and shaping and often missing the lingual canal. So what we do, whenever we attempt to negotiate the root canal with a file, especially with a hand file, the file will automatically go inside the labial canal. So by doing a small curvature and trying to negotiate, we shall negotiate the lingual canal with a hand file. It's not a problem. Maybe we may have to extend the axis cavity little more towards lingually and we shall negotiate it. So after negotiating and creating a glide path with a hand file, what's the next step? We have to do cleaning and shaping with a rotary file. So for preparing the labial canal, we can use a rotary file and the rotary file goes inside the labial canal easily. There are no problems. But when you attempt to do cleaning and shaping for the lingual canal, the file automatically will go inside the labial canal. However, we try the file keeps going inside the labial canal and not inside the lingual canal. So now let's see about what is this tactile controlled activation technique. In this technique, the rotary file, the martensitic file or the controlled memory file or the heat treated file, we have to give a curvature. And if you are giving a curvature and if you are trying to insert the file inside the root canal system while the file is rotating, it will rotate in an in a, in a elliptical shape and we can never put the file inside the root canal system. So in order to overcome that, we have to pre-cover the file when the file is stationary and the file has to be placed in the entrance that is at the orifice, maybe a millimeter or two below the orifice. Now the file have to be activated and with the help of a small pecking motion, we can go inside the canal. So let's see a small video clip. I have pre out the file and now I will be placing the canal, uh, placing the file inside the lingual canal. And now I activate the file and in a pecking, in a little up and down motion, I can enlarge the and I can do cleaning and shaping for the lingual canal. Once I do that, maybe for a millimeter or two, three, four times, then I will take it out. I will clean the file. Again, I will pre-curve it. And again, I will place it inside the lingual canal. Then only we are activating. One of the essential tips or the essential mandatory requirement while doing rotary instruments is, the rotary file should be rotating while entering inside the root canal system. That does not apply when you are using this TCA technique. So in this complicated situation with the help of a controlled memory file, we can pre-curve it and whichever the canal that we find it difficult to clean and shape, we place the pre-curved rotary file 
inside the orifice maybe a millimeter or two how far deep it goes and then you activate the file then you will in a small pecking motion you can go little by little deeper cleaning and proceeding with further cleaning and shaping so this technique has been shown to be highly effective in handling this difficult to do root canal treatments yet this technique is not only limited to a mandibular incisor a more often situation a, which is which is quite often encountered in our clinical practice is the mandibular first premolar with two root canals in this picture you can see that in the mandibular first premolar that there are two root canals which split which is called as a deep split which goes deep inside the as a single canal then it will split into two root canals so in this situation the rotary file will always take up any one of the canal especially we can say it as the labial canal and however we try the file will never enter inside the lingual canal in this situation you can pre-curve it and you can place it the file the tip of the file at the orifice where the file file is not entering then you can activate the file and do cleaning and shaping the next situation is for doing cleaning and shaping of the mesio buckle 2 the mb2 canal of a maxillary first or second molars in this situation the mb1 and mb2 canals are close to each other in many situations even there are many situations there will be one orifice maybe a millimeter deep inside that one hour face it will split into two canals not only limited to maxillary first molar to any any situation where this happens the main canal that we can uh, clean and shape easily so the difficult one you can follow this technique and in the another yet another situation is while doing access cavity preparation we would have made the uh, access so deep so that the orifices will be in the walls instead of the floor. In those situations, whenever we are using a rotary instrument, it will keep going, hitting at the floor and the file will never go inside the orifices. In those situations also, you can pre out the rotary file, place it at the orifice, probably it will be present in the uh, wall of the access cavity preparation, then you can activate and then you can do cleaning and shaping trust me uh, whenever you are in trouble or uh, whenever you find difficulties in doing cleaning and shaping try out this technique and this is a really simple but yet a very very helpful technique for doing cleaning and shaping many of you may be doing this technique without knowing that this is a tactile control activation technique this is not new as far as the uh, research goes in the year 2017, this technique was introduced or first reported in a case report where this technique was used for negotiating a mandibular premolar which was having a deep split. So it's not a new technique, it's there being practiced in the industry for quite a long time. So I hope that this technique is really helpful for each and every one of you in your clinical practice. I will come up with another video next week. Until then, take care. And I am Dr. Benin. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching till the end.